The soda business can be ruthless at times. Throughout the years, hundreds upon hundreds of different soft drinks have been released to a thirsty market. Many of these old soda products only remain as just a lingering aftertaste in our memories. In this video, we will have a closer look at some of the sodas that should be brought back. Pepsi launched its first Diet Cola in 1963. The name of it was Patio Diet Cola, which sounds great for relaxing in the shade on a hot summer day. This was essentially Diet Pepsi, and the Pepsi company would rebrand it as such one year later. Patio not only came in cola flavor, but they also had grape, orange, and root beer flavors. If you are familiar with the show Mad Men, then perhaps you notice Patio being one of Don Draper's fictional clients. Sure seems like Patio would do well if it was re-released. The 1970s saw a soda with a strange name that came out on the market. It went by the name Worms. The name itself doesn't sound too appealing, but don't worry, it was cherry flavored and not fish bait. This product may have been influenced by a popular children's book, How to Eat Fried Worms, which was published in 1973. With all of the current gross and exotic sodas that are on the market today, perhaps this one is due for a comeback. In 1975, Pepsi released Pepsi Light. They added a lemon citrus flavor to the soda in order to make it more flavorful and appealing. This light cola was sort of a tart flavor and it was a perfect drink to have after you just finished aerobics. In the 1980s, the lemon flavoring was removed and the soda tanked. In the late 70s and early 80s, we had Quirst. Whenever I want to quench my thirst, I feel like a Quirst. That was the advertising jingle for this lemonade-flavored soda. Unfortunately, this soft drink did not last long on the market, but it certainly is fun to say. Rondo was another soft drink that was around in the late 70s and early 80s. Rondo promised to crush your puny thirst with its citrus flavoring. The brand also had a diet variation that came in a green can. Their commercial explained that Rondo was lightly carbonated so you could slam it down fast. This masculine advertising campaign sort of led the way for the extreme sports marketing of Do The Do. Aspen was another Pepsi product that was on the market between 1978 and 1982. This soda offered a crisp apple flavor. The commercial boasted a tantalizing snap of apple. The advertisement always made it seem like it was the perfect drink for the ski lodge. There are many people that loved and have missed this drink and have hoped that it would someday make a comeback. In 1987, the Wrigley Company entered the soft drink market with a bubblegum flavored drink called Hubba Bubba. This soda seemed to be marketed towards kids, yet they also had a diet option. The majority of 80s kids didn't even give this diet version a second glance. 7-Up Gold was first introduced to the world in 1987. It was a formula that Dr. Pepper never used and the taste was a little bit of ginger and a touch of apple and cinnamon. This gold-colored soda had a strange marketing slogan. They ran with Never Had It, Never Will, which was referring to caffeine. However, 7-Up Gold did actually have caffeine in it. In 1992, Pepsi introduced us to Crystal Pepsi. This soda was supposed to change the way we thought about consuming Pepsi. The advertising campaigns featured Van Halen's song, Right Now. This transparent soda did not sell well on the market and it was discontinued in 1994. In recent years, Crystal Pepsi made a short-lived comeback with similar results. Pepsi wasn't the only one to get in on the clear soda craze. In 2018, Coca-Cola Clear was released in Japan, China, Australia, Taiwan, Singapore, and Malaysia. The flavor has been described as a diet cola with an extra hint of lemon flavoring. It seems surprising that this Coke product never saw worldwide production. Anyone who was around in the 1970s will certainly remember Tab. It was first introduced in 1963 and it went through several design changes over the years. This drink was extremely popular in the 1960s and 70s and it was a product of the Coca-Cola company. 
In the 1980s, Coca-Cola's Diet Coke took over the diet market, but they continued to produce Tab in some markets until 2020 when it was discontinued. Donald Duck Soft Drinks was a line of sodas from General Beverages. They were introduced in the 1940s and it was marketed towards children. Some of the flavors that they had were lemon lime, grape, orange, strawberry, black cherry, root beer, cola, and ginger ale. These beverages were discontinued in the late 1950s, but it might be time for a comeback. Surely they would do well with Disney fans. Allen's brand of grape-flavored soda was released in 1991 and marketed in Canada. The limited edition containers featured the Simpsons characters on them. So why only Canada with this one? That's not fair. I think it's time for a worldwide re-release of this one. Orbits look like the soft drink of the future, either that or some strange 70s lava lamp. The drink was released on the market in 1997. This non-carbonated fruit-flavored beverage had multicolored floating balls of gelatin inside. But the texture didn't sit too well with consumers and it was discontinued in 1998. You are all probably familiar with Snapple, but do you remember when they made root beer? This flavored drink was pretty similar to actual root beer, but it was actually clear in color. It was introduced in 1983 and it was pulled from the market in the late 80s. In the 1980s and 90s, characters from the Flintstones were featured on a line of soft drinks. Each flavor had a different character on the can. Fred Flintstone was Pterodactyl Punch. Wilma Flintstone was Sabretooth Orange. Dino was Bubble Rock Bubblegum. Pebbles was Gravelberry Grape. Barney Rubble was Lemon Rock Lemon. Betty Rubble was Stegosaurus Cola. And Bam Bam was Brontosaurus Blue Raspberry. This prehistoric family of flavors needs to be brought back so we can all give it another try. Sprite Remix was a line of remixed colorless caffeine sodas made by the Coca-Cola Company. They were introduced in 2002 and discontinued three years later in 2005. There were three flavors, Sprite Tropical Remix, Sprite Berry Clear Remix, and Sprite Aruba Jam. Coca-Cola has tried to re-release some of the flavors several times, but with little success. The beverage industry is constantly trying to come up with something new in order to quench our taste buds. Clearly some are amiss, but some of the ones that have been discontinued are actually quite good. I hope you enjoyed our little walk down the soda aisle. What were some of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.